Today, I want to share with you how to create some toggle buttons with bookmarks that will allow us to change between the state of a slicer. And when I mention a state of a slicer, basically what I say is that I want to change between the slicer settings of relative date to the between date. Because there is the case that some users would like to see a relative date, meaning that they would like to see the last two years, the last two weeks, or they will also have to, or there are other users that would like to see these slicers as between dates. So let's go and take a look how this one is done. So the first thing that I have already prepared in this file is two different images. And uh, these images, they correspond to the toggle buttons. One of them is the button that will help us, uh, that will apply for the range, so between dates. And the second one is the button that will apply for the relative date. So the last two weeks, the last one year, the last one month, and so on. I also have it preparing here my slicer, which in this case, right now I have it as a slicer of between dates. So the first thing that we are going to do in here is that we are going to record the first bookmark. So the first bookmark will show the slicer with the option of the slicer activated on the slicer settings on between dates, which is the one that we want, and also the button that says range because this is a range of dates that we want to show. Now, in here, I will select the three items, selecting, selecting them by pressing Ctrl on my keyboard, and then I will click on Add. The second uh, bookmark that we are going to record in this case is one that in this case has hidden the button that it says, sorry, hidden the button that it says range, but we will show the button that it says relative. And in this case, when we go to the slicer, we are going to change the settings of the slicers. And in this case, the settings will not be between, but will be a relative date. So now we have our relative date on the slicer. Now I will select the three items that I want this bookmark to uh, record, and I will click on Add. Now let's test it. So we see that when we click the bookmark number one, the range appears, and when I click the bookmark two, the relative uh, date appear. Okay, so we are very close to what we need. The next step that we are going to do in here is that we are going to select only the selected visuals. Basically, we do this because if the user has select a different slicer, probably a different category on the slicer, we don't want to reset or we don't want to change that slicer. We only want to do it for the selected slicer. So this is why we switch, switch this option and only the selected visuals. So we make sure that both of them have only the selected visuals. They are still working. And that's great. So next, the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to select the relative button. And in this case, we are going to apply an action. We need to turn on the action which will be a bookmark, and the bookmark will be sent to the bookmark number two. Let's just change the name for some more meaningful names, because in this case, we this one is a relative bookmark. And in this case, this one will be the range. Uh, sorry. No, this one is the between. And this one is a relative. Now let's go once more and in here I will choose the button and right now we are on the relative date. So we want that the were action, the bookmark takes us to the between date. Now by pressing control on our keyboard and then clicking on the button, we see that it changes to the other bookmark. Now on the other bookmark, we need to do the same. Now on the range button, we need to apply the bookmark and the bookmark will be and the bookmark will be the relative one. So in this case, I go back here, I press control on my keyboard, and then I see that it is working. So this way you can apply these bookmarks and buttons to, to change and to, to switch between two different views. There may be users that would like to see the last one month, but there also might be users that would like to choose from a calendar the between dates. So I hope you find this one useful. 
As always, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and leave us your comments below. Thank you very much. See you the next time.